every year the Irish Film Board put out a call for a series of short films and each year they have a different theme. And last year's theme was food. So I kind of thought that would be an interesting way you know, to create a short film whereby the food had to be an instrumental or an integral part of the narrative. It wasn't just something that was extraneous. It had to be you know, an, a, an essential element. So um, I was thinking about a few ideas and I got this idea of a bakery because I thought it was visual, lots of bread, cakes. It, you know, it was something that you could create simply. Well, that was the idea. Um, there'd be a lot of color and flavor, I suppose, for the want of a better word. And I came up with this idea of, I guess, an idea for kind of an odd couple drama, um, you know, kind of two odd bakers. Um, and I thought that had a certain amount of comic potential. So from that idea, I, I fashioned this little, this little idea of, you know, I, I, I also wanted to make a film that was in one location, uh, that didn't, wasn't going to be a huge circus of moving everyone and moving a crew around. We really created a, a nuclear power station to run a three-bar electric fire. You know, I mean, <laughs> it was very challenging, but um, it was there was a there was a lot of food aspects to it, and there were a lot of different cakes. We had a lot of very very good suppliers, and a lot of things. People responded very well to the script, and we were very lucky with a number of suppliers. We had a, we did have a very creative look. We had two very important people, and I wouldn't want to be naming people, but I do have to mention um, our food stylist, um, Erica Ryan, and we had our, the pastry chef, Paul Kelly, from the Marion Hotel here in Dublin, and he's the head pastry chef. He's one of the best pastry chefs in Ireland, possibly in Europe. And uh, he came on board and created a number of cakes, and like specifically for the film. Um, and then Erica would have worked with them to make them, you know, to glaze them or whatever. So, I mean, between them, the pair of them came up with there's one very, very centerpiece food uh, creation, which is important to the, to the film. And uh, so that was, yeah, it was, I mean, there was like something like 300 kilograms of icing used um, to cover <laughs> one specific prop. Um, but we spent a long time as well, you know, going around different bakeries and, you know, getting donations of bread and stale bread and whatever, you know. Well, the characters themselves are, f are fairly well defined. I mean, you essentially have two odd bakers. I mean, one very fastidious one and one rather messy one. So that in itself gives you an immediate in into you've got that culture clash of two characters. Appearances. It's a bakery at a bank. Um, in terms of the casting, we spent a long time. We were time rich in that respect. Um, we spent a lot of time in the casting, I really wanted to make sure that we got the, the dynamic right, because it is a performance film, and the whole film hinges on that on that relationship, and creating those, creating a, a, you know a credible relationship between those two characters. So we saw a lot of very very good local actors um, who all came to the project very very willingly, and everyone responded to it very well. And uh, but we spent a long time just doing a lot of improv work with a number of different actors and whittling them down. And then what happened was I chose one of the characters, and I, I chose an actor to play the role of, um, uh, of Brian. And then once we had him in place, we then brought an, a, a number of potential Barrys in to, to work with him, and we whittled it down to two or three. I, I, well, I hope that they just enjoy a really, really good story, and um, I hope that they might want to go and buy a cake somewhere. <laughs> and uh, I hope, you know, that they want to hire me, <laughs> most importantly. <laughs>